More good news for Donald Trump. It seems as though the support for uh, for Donald Trump is starting to grow and the trials are continuing to not do as well for the Democrats as they would have hoped. From Fox News, New Yorkers are divided on the Trump trial, rip political nature of the case, pathetic to even watch. Sarah Carter spoke with New Yorkers about their take on Trump's criminal trial uh, in a Hannity exclusive. New York residents are giving their take on former President Trump's criminal trial in Manhattan, revealing a, di a divided stance as closing arguments loom. I think it's so political, one New Yorker told Fox News contributor Sarah Carter during the Hannity exclusive Tuesday. It's so obviously political, it's pathetic to even watch it. A, weaponize a weaponization of our courts, Carter asked in response, absolutely. The judge, obviously the judge is biased against Trump. The district attorney is biased against Trump. The whole thing should have never been brought up in the first place. All of that is true. It is the prosecution's job to be biased against the defendant. So I won't necessarily hold that against him. Now, a, potentially uh, hiding exculpatory evidence, that's a problem. Um, trying to uh, have novel approaches to the law to weaponize a prosecution, that's also a problem. The Trump's, or the, the judge's daughter in the Trump trial is receiving money based on the, uh, the prosecution. And so the judge is obviously corrupt as well. Another resident told Carter, however, that Trump needs to pay the price for what he did. And what did he do? I don't know what he discussed. I'm still trying to figure it out, Carter responded. Oh, aren't they pro prosecuting, for, uh, prosecuting him for all the conspiracy lies he talked about? No, Carter shot back. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg charged former President Trump with 34 counts of falsifying business records in the first degree. Trump pleaded not guilty to all counts. Prosecutors need to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Trump falsified those records to conceal a $130,000 payment to Stormy Daniels, an adult film star. In the lead up to the 2016 election to silence her about an alleged affair in 2006, the former president has maintained his innocence because, of course... Uh, I believe President Trump will be acquitted, but then again, I didn't think it would go this far. Another New Yorker told Carter, this is all just BS. Uh, it really is, one resident told Carter. It's a sad case for America and the legal system that is going on. Carter asked another New Yorker, what do you think the best outcome would be for the country? Oh, wow, that's a question. The best outcome? That's difficult because this case could have so many implications on the global stage, she responded. So I don't know. I don't think I can answer that right now. I don't know. That's actually a fair response because realistically what could be the possible best outcome i mean we've crossed the rubicon there is no going back the the justice system is weaponized and it's going to be weaponized against democrats if republicans get in power be very careful when you forge a sword that will eventually be used against you uh defense attorneys in the new, in the new york v trump case rested their case um Tuesday morning without calling former President Trump to testify. Judge Juan Merchant dismissed the jury after the memorial or after until after Memorial Day. The next day, Tuesday, May 28th, the jury will hear closing arguments from Trump defense attorneys and New York prosecutors. And then the jury is expected to deliberate. I am genuinely hopeful that Donald Trump will be acquitted of all charges and it will make them look terrible. However, I am also skeptical of that being the likely outcome, meaning he will have to file his appeals relatively quickly. In the meantime, I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. Then I want you to head over to my locals page, thearthurnix.locals.com, for exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Till next time, thanks for watching.